So. All right, off topic. Serious question. Do y'all not worry about like being seen online, your professional, whatever, and then like somebody sees you while you're at work and be like, "Hey, I saw you on." Yeah, no, they. That, I'm kind of worried. Podcast. I wish you were talking. You were talking about that old lady. Like, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I'll be like, oh yeah, that was me. So yeah, especially in my profession. Fuck right, that old lady. Right, so I, <laughs> you're a whole fucking soldier, dude. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm excited about it. So <laughs> at my job, some I got a little nervous because I did give some folks. The, the podcast and stuff like that, so they know I'm doing this. Some, you know, some folks do. I, I trust them to be good, <laughs> sense of humor, sensible people. I they my know first who I sergeant. Am. But <laughs> I also warned nice. them. I warned every every single body I work with. I didn't give this to everybody, but I did tell everybody there that I am not nice outside of work because they keep saying mm-hmm. that shit. And I'm like, yo, Shit's you understand? I tell them, I'm like, you understand? I get paid to be nice. I'm mm-hmm. on the clock. I'm being nice. Of course, I'm gonna be nice to the yeah. patients and stuff yeah. like that. Like. See if you want these patients bump into me by accident outside. And like that's you know, mm-hmm. that's a whole different thing. See me on like, the street, cut. <laughs> I, can yeah. I can understand that. Yeah, like, you get paid to do a certain yeah, thing, so you're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. and, I, and I, when I was younger, it was actually worse. I was really good at do, being the same way, but I was worse mm-hmm. outside because what would happen is that all that pumped up rage during the day from work, well, yeah. that would carry that would carry over in my regular day, like outside of work. Now I'm I don't get angry because it's, it's it, that's more energy. Yeah, I mean I I'm too lazy now. <laughs> like, all right, like, roll it off no, his I mean, shoulder, roll off I, his shoulder, and keep fucking going. I, I get, I get what you're coming from, man. Like, uh, like with my with, with my streaming and everything, and my mm-hmm. videos on YouTube, I, I like w- one of my one of the guys that I work with, one of my coworkers, mm-hmm. uh, during one of the future soldier trainings, uh, was like. Hey, you know Sergeant Rivera? Because they were still talking about video games on Twitch and whatnot. And then when, uh, one of them goes, "So you know Sergeant Rivera? Uh, he uh, he streams, and he has a YouTube channel and stuff." Mm. So they were like, "Oh, like, let me get you." I was like, "No, mm. <laughs> <laughs> no." <laughs> I was like, "No." Uh, They'll find I, it I probably gave it to like two. I probably gave it to like two, two of them. Yeah. Uh, but these are like more mature. You know, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they know they know what what's up. But uh, the rest oh, of them. But we're kids. talking about your recruits. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> and I was like, and then, but I was like, uh, as, as soon as it was mentioned, and they were like, "Oh, can we?" I was like, "No." <laughs> 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 you don't understand. Like, I'm I'm a certain way here. Like, yeah. Like, there's, I don't curse as much when I'm at work. You know, I, I'm I'm very blunt. I'm very truthful. I don't lie. I, I tell the honest truth. They want to know if it's hard. If, the, if being in the army is hard, I tell them the honest truth. Yeah, it, it can be if you allow it to be, you know. Uh, but but the shit I say on my Twitch stream and the shit I say on my YouTube, it it's it's uh, can get it. It, w- it wouldn't get me in trouble, but it it would put me in a different light with some folks, and I'd rather not. Mm-hmm. Personally, mm-hmm. it's just. That's just me. But I did tell my first sergeant I was going to be on this podcast. And I, and uh, he was like, well, uh, is, are they going to ask you questions about recruiting? I was like, yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'll be on my best behavior. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> We're not trying to put you on uh, under the spotlight like mm-hmm. that over the Army or anything like that. No, no, no. I, I got nothing but good, a great shit to say about the Army. Uh, you know, everybody has their own experiences. <clears throat> <laughs> so, so yeah, we're not we're not here we're not here for the gossip girl stuff. Yeah. We're here we're no, no, here no, to it, how you feel, it, you know. The, the, to be honest with you, like I I I have nothing negative to say about the army. I, the army's been great to me and my family. It's got it's putting my wife through college right now. It's put me through college. I got my degree because of the army. That's good. Um, I don't think I would have gotten any other way. Mm-hmm. Um, my wife is almost done with her degree. She she she's you know been great with that. You know, they're taking care of my son medically and, uh, you know, it's a great support system in the Army. Um, and it's just because I I allowed it to be that. You know, some folks just don't. You always hear those horror stories. People, all these guys are, oh, fuck the Army, blah, blah, blah. Mm, they did yeah. this to me. Uh-huh. Yeah. In reality, they, they didn't do shit to you. you the reality is that yeah. you was a dirt bag, a piece of shit. Damn. You didn't do your job. Yeah. And the Army got rid of you and you have... Uh, itch up your ass you want to talk shit about the army True. i don't i've had nothing I, but great things to say because i've had nothing but great experiences i do I think can, that I like circumstances that. are mostly in, in most people in uh, individuals control right like 
Like, yeah. if it, yeah, something can happen to you that was out of your control, but it was you still were in that situation because you got there somehow. Mm -hmm. right? You were in well, that area. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In, in, in the Army, that you yeah. know, you, you always have this thing where uh, we, we do what's called risk assessments, mm -hmm. right? We're all trained to do what's called a risk assessment. And essentially what it, what it boils down to is if you have to think about it, you probably shouldn't do it. Mm. That's <laughs> a good I mean, it's, yeah. what it boils down to. I like if that. you yeah. have to think about it, you shouldn't probably do it. Yeah. Like uh, and, and, uh, a, a lot of people don't use that. A lot of people go, well, you know what? I, I think I could get away with it. And then they might, they mm -hmm. might get away with it. Mm -hmm. The they first might go time. play laser tag in the middle of the <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I felt it coming. I felt it rising. <laughs> but then, yeah. but for real though, it's like a lot of a lot of these people, honestly, who who just want to sit there and trash the army because they had a bad experience is probably because they were shitty soldiers. Mm -hmm. To be yeah. honest with you. I can see uh, that. Because you know, a lot of the people that I have heard those works. kind of stories from are the kind of people mm -hmm. that are just shitty people. You know? Yeah. Most people yeah, who turn yeah. around trash like uh like an old job, most of the time they got fired from that old job. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, something. definitely. Right. Sometimes right. you know, you know maybe I, the job is a piece I, of shit too, but you know. True. To this day, I still talk shit about the clinic I used to work in with some yeah. old mean. I still, I still, yeah, there's yeah. some places I think about <laughs> that you know didn't work out for me. Let's put it that way. And uh, was you know, it was it a clinic too? <laughs> huh? Was it a clinic? Oh too? no no not there no no. <laughs> there. There's a place in mind. That place was weird. That's a long story with that. It was back and forth for that place. There's a, there's yeah. a place in mind that, that I constantly yeah. badmouth, but I don't know yeah. if we should badmouth here. He 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 got me a job at the clinic he used to work at, and I got fired for not dusting the office the right way. Well, okay. Mm. What? Dude, all right. So the dude that, and that's why I never took it serious. He fires people all the time, and then they come back to work the same the next day, and it's like nothing happened. It's he's because he's hmm. love him to death, but he was fucking crazy. Um, he is fucking crazy. I guess I, he's probably still alive. I think he is. Um, yeah, he had like he had a few issues. He had, <laughs> you know, he'll, he'll never you'll never see this or whatever. People he he was you know bipolar. You know, um, I, he was gay, but from an older generation, he was an older man, so he had to deal with that coming out. Cause he was married with a kid and then he had that whole shit happening. He was very open about it at this point in his life, but I think it was also very late in his life. So he was angry in a lot of different ways. Then he, had, he was dealing with his business shit and the bipolarism and all this, and all this other shit. But he was a, he was a lunatic dude. Like, yeah, he was, he was nuts, man. Yeah. You know how many like times he, he legit... fucking fired me? I used to go back to work the next day. Like, well, no, he, this, that shit was just honestly, like he was on his shit. The, the, that was the second time he fired yeah. me. And then as I was leaving the first time, he was like, he was like, "Listen, man, I don't, I don't want to fire you. Just come back tomorrow uh, with a better attitude." That's what he told me. It come back like with a better a, attitude. Yeah, I was like, "What? What are you talking yeah, about?" Yeah. And that I was like, like a... "All right, fine." And then the second time he fired me, I, I gave him no chance to stop me. I ran out that office because I was like, yeah. "You know what? This dude, <laughs> I'm over this." I worked for this guy yeah. for like over five years. Right? It was like my first job, and it was in a medical clinic i was doing like i was very young so i was happy to have the job but i was i had to fucking deal with a lot so, to the point that this dude would come in late on a daily basis that i had the keys to his apartment so that when he was late by like 10 11 o'clock and the whole clinic is filled up and so and i actually had some backup i would leave the clinic go to his apartment across town open up his apartment and find him sleeping on the floor right in front of the door i'm like yo i'm not gonna say his name I'll be like, yo, yo, wake up. And he'll look at me, and he won't even act surprised I'm in the middle of his damn living room. He'll just be like, oh, what time is it? I'm like, bro, it's 11 o'clock. And he's like, oh, is that patience? I'm like, you have like 15 patients waiting for you right now. Like, okay, call me, come back in five minutes. Let me come back in five minutes. He'll, get, he'll like take a bundle of money from his sweaty ass pants, put it in my hand. <laughs> And be like, you know, go get yourself some coffee and breakfast or something. I'm like, the hell, do you even know what, what you're giving me here? And I, and then I will walk out. I'll get coffee. Honestly, I would chill for like a good 30 minutes at that point. I'm like, all right, well, whatever. <laughs> then I go back in his apartment, wake him up. And then we'll get in the cab. <laughs> and then he had a fetish like... for Muslim dudes. So he will always be fucking kicking into the cab driver. Because all the yellow cabs were Muslim. 
Yeah. Yo, <laughs> I, I was, yeah, 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 the, daily. the stories yeah. that this dude has about this guy. Yeah. He he you can do a whole podcast on this. Yo, he was he was funny, though. No, don't get me wrong. He was too. a funny guy. He was a, he was funny, a funny motherfucker guy. too. Just, like he was Yeah, he on, really was. Yeah. Yo, I used to hear them two arguing all the time. It was hilarious, man. Yeah. I'll be because I got hired, I got hired to do the job that I do in the army on a normal me- yeah, medical right. logistics. Yes, he was like, really like, excited to meet you. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Uh, <laughs> and but he hired me to do that job. I never did that job. No, he did. I not. did everything I that. but that he job. Yeah, like cleaning and some other bullshit and doing some counting. Yeah, like, I was clean. I was cleaning. I was filing. I was placing the orders for the the blood uh, the blood results. Yo, I yeah, was, yeah, do I even did. Yeah. I even did the uh, the the <laughs> putting the vials inside the uh, the spinner. The yeah, there's, there's a specific name. I work with lab techs all the time. What's it called? <laughs> uh, oh my god! Magnetic so, rotary cylinder. rotary machine. No, the hey, shut up. That's what it is. <laughs> That's technically what it is. He knows. <laughs> but yeah, the, it's a spinner thing. The spinner, it's gonna come to me later. Watch. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, he, I would put in a spinner thing and then put it in the bag and then send it off with uh, with the bio med guys to go do their yeah. lab stuff and then. Then I would have to print out the reports. I did everything but order supplies, mm. like everything, but that. Yo, you know, I, I'd have been pissed. I that. I assumed <laughs> that this guy was a little racist by the racist jokes he would make, right? And I just didn't assume. Like one time he did do something that I didn't realize was crazy. Like so, there was another coworker of mine, and so he was black. He was black. He was his parents were from straight Africa, and he was American. Grew up here all his life, right? And we were in the front working together. I never thought anything of it, right? We were both hired to do a job. We got cool. Me and him were friends or whatever. And then one time this guy, it was a patient. He was like out of his fucking mind. He decides to storm through because there was a disagreement or whatever. And he storms through past us and goes straight to the back. And Mark comes what out, is, right? What's you and that mic? Yo, it's in my oh, face. He was attacking Yo. it, right? You need to back the mic up or something. Yo, so the dude, the dude freaking, yeah, because when I do that, the weight makes it bring, come Anyway. So the dude goes straight to the back. Mark talks to him, whatever the hell. The dude's wailing away. He leaves. Yo, Mark gets mad at us. He's like, why didn't you stop him? And now nothing's coming to mind about it. I'm like, I mean, I'm, I'm not hired to fucking get hurt for you. I'm not going to stop him. Like, he stormed through. Let him. Like, he's like, oh, I expect that. And he's like, next time something like that happens, I want you to get up and you to get up and come in close to each other and close your arms. Like, straight up. And I'm like, <laughs> oh. That's why you were here. And like, <laughs> and, and like I didn't even like, put that together. I'm like, oh. You got to talk? And I looked at the dude, and he was thinking, I knew he was thinking the same thing. He was like, like yeah. He was like, <laughs> like, what? He wanted you guys to talk. He wanted us to be a block and be his security. I'm like, yo, not for this. Hey, what, what, what cracked me up is is the fact, like you said, he was, he was Jewish. Uh, I didn't and- say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Man, I, Hold up! I didn't that's say that. That's it. We didn't clarify. Okay, I'm gonna clarify. He's Jewish, uh, but but he had a he had this fucking dude that used to work with him that was fucking hilarious, and he was he was Muslim. Khalid. He worked with him for years. Yeah, that's my dude. He worked yeah. with he worked with him for fucking ever. He was just right, and whenever this guy used to catch his like his manic episodes. <laughs> he would be like, just, just leave him alone. Just close the door. Just let it. Yeah. Just wow. let's, let's, let's go for a walk. Like he, he would come up with every, every possible solution for you not to get pissed off at this guy. Like he was the, he was the, the glue that held that office. Man. I've, I've wow. seen that the doctor go in on him, like screaming at him. And this is Khalid the whole time. Okay, okay, yeah, I know. All right, all right. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hell no, nah, man. I ain't got that kind right, of patience. Right, you gonna yeah, get in my face a couple of times. Yeah, and I'm looking at this like from months. across the room, like in amazement. Like, yo, he's not even flinching. And Mark's getting angrier, but also it seems like he's used to this shit. And he's okay. And then he just storm off. I'm like, what the hell was that? And then I see it again and again play out. I'm like, oh, this is normal shit for them. You're ignoring the fuck yeah. out of him. <laughs> yeah. He knows. He knows that Mark. That DVD. He knows, yeah. DVD. Oh. DVD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, no, the DVD. Name, not the whole government. Yeah. Oh, yeah, not the whole government. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Told you I got stream mm-hmm. software. DVD? Yeah. <laughs> like, no. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, you know, you know he became a cop, right? Khalid? Yeah. For real? Yeah, he became a cop. No shit. Mm-hmm. 
nice. the last I heard, nice. yeah, the last I seen him, he was in uniform too. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Good stuff, man. Well, well at least you get, yeah. we're definitely getting some patient fucking police officers out there then. If he could take yeah. all that shit for that yeah. long. Yeah, yeah. He has infinite amount I've of patience. I've never seen that, yeah. That. <laughs> I used to hang out I with do, him. Yeah. That dude, he used to take he used to take some serious L's from this guy, and he's just like just smiling, mm. nod his head. Just. I'm telling you, I cannot, dude. If I'm gonna get yelled at you or by you by like three, four times a week, I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit you at least once. I got <laughs> yo, I got to that point now where I'm like relaxed about shit. I'm like, all right, well, whatever. Yeah, I mean, like, mm. you talk to me, I'm like, okay. I yeah. would have never lasted in the military. I'll tell you that much. I just say bullshit. No, I was like, <laughs> Everybody I, says, people yell at me, and I just say bullshit. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll do better. Okay, all right, I'll avoid it next time. <laughs> you, you, sure. you, like you I learned. Learned. Maybe after a while, I would just get used to it and shit. But yeah, maybe at first, I'd be able to take it for a little while. But I don't no, know. No, I, mean, oh, it, I was younger. Hell no, I couldn't do it. No, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, it, it, took me, it took me a solid six years for me to finally get used to it. It, it, it was rough in the beginning. Because, I, 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 you know, like I, I was always, always a mouthy kid. I mean, I'm still mouthy now, but... I'm more Sad, uh, bro. This I'm dude, more this dude I'm dying, more though. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm more tactical with it. The army has helped me use this <laughs> this mouth. <laughs> I, know how to, I know how to insult people, uh, insult people uh, yeah. peacefully now. Now it works out. <laughs> yo, we, when we were kids, like I was, uh, I had like social anxiety. I was just afraid. I was shy and shit. I didn't want to talk and stuff. This dude was always like into you know, chatting and talking up a month with people, and like, it was always good. So it kind of worked out, like balanced out when we were hanging out. Amongst each other yeah. outside and stuff. Yeah, yeah it, it, I, I, I've always been the type of person that, uh, like, if you gave me the moment to talk, I would, I would just, you know, I'll spark up a conversation. You know, like but I'm, I'm also a clown. I always got in trouble because of my mouth. Mm-hmm. So, uh, in the, and being in the army, it, it, it was a first go. It was a hard go at first, and it was because I, I. I had like I'll tell you this one story. I don't think he's ever gonna see this fucking video. He's retired now, but um, <laughs> uh, we had, I, had a, I had I had this uh this uh we call it NCOIC, uh-huh. his non commissioned officer in charge, and uh, my NCOIC he was just he was he worked with dad by the way. Oh, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> which made it very uncomfortable mm. because he he knew he knew Depp Rivera. Yeah. So, um. He, he was a corrections officer and cause this is when I was in the reserves. Uh, so he, uh, he would like intentionally find reasons to fuck with me. Mm. And because of my mouth, I didn't really hesitate to tell him to shut the fuck up or, mm. uh, you know, I think I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I probably told him to, to kiss my ass one time. Mm-hmm. And I, that, that got me into some serious trouble. Mm. Um, <laughs> for real. And, uh, but it was this one time where when I was in Iraq, this is before I got promoted to Sergeant, thankfully nothing happened. Cause I probably wouldn't have ha- had it, the promotion, but, uh, I was coming back from a, from one of our missions and the, I guess I didn't do something the night before. Mm-hmm. This is when I was still on night, uh, night shift. I guess I didn't do something the night before where, or I, I did something, but it wasn't what he told me to do. It was something stupid. And he stopped my my vehicle. I was a passenger in the vehicle. He stopped our Humvee in the middle of the road, opened my door, and starts proceeding to lambast me for a solid five minutes with the rest of my crew watching in horror. Like, mm-hmm. dude, what the fuck? And he's just trashing me, trashing me, telling me I'm a terrible soldier, yeah, I'm a piece of shit, all this stuff. And I'm just, I'm sitting there, and I'm eating it, I'm eating it, I'm eating it. And I'm like, all right, fine. He closes the door. He tells me, once I'm done, go finish the, the fucking job, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, fine. We go back to the hospital. I'm, we're unloading the vehicle. I'm taking off my body armor and everything. I'm, you know, getting ready to, to go back in the hospital. And he comes out the back door. So the homeboy ran across an open field just to cut across through the hospital to come to the back of the hospital to continue yelling at me. <laughs> That's dedication, bro. Yeah. That's dedication. So he starts yelling at me, and then as soon as he turns his back, I, I like, I got so pissed. And be, back in the day, we used to wear our ranks on our collars. Mm-hmm. So I bust out a knife and I rip my collar, my 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 rank off my collar, on both sides, 
and then I ran to him and I threw it in his face. And before I can say anything, what I guess one of my buddies thought I was gonna go and like start fighting with the guy. Mm-hmm. One of my buddies jumps off the Humvee and tackles me to the ground, <laughs> full body armor and everything, just bashes me into the ground, just trying to stop me from fighting this guy. And uh, dude just kind of looked over me and kind of saw what was going on, walks inside. Uh, and then like later on that day, he was like, were you going to fight me? And I was like, probably. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, well, I respect you and, and I appreciate you telling me the truth. He's like, you know what? I, I apologize for the way I act and everything. And it was all good after that, you know, but mm-hmm. it, 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 it's hard. And that was just like the first, that's probably like my second year in, but it took a lot like of patience and learning to develop patience to deal with people who would just when they're having a bad day, they're going to take it out of me. And, and it happens, you know, it, 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 I've had really good NCOs where they didn't do that, but yeah. you have those NCOs that just, when they have a bad day, just, you know, what usually, hell breaks loose. You know, what usually helps when someone has having a bad day in front of you, this, hmm. you just do that. Hmm. You go <laughs> smile. Cause it's funny. I find, I find it funny when they're taking it out of me. Like, honestly, I'm like, yo, that is interesting. That shit acting like that with me. <laughs> like, I don't know what I did to you, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It fucking works, and it, piss, it kind of pisses them off. But they, 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 they know what the, all of that means, you know. You yeah, I mean, it, 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 so basically, what I, what I did over the years is develop a way to insult people without them actually knowing that I'm full. I'm outright insulting them. No, no, no. I think yeah. that's been my language since I was a kid. Nah, like, no, this is something that developed. It, it, I've got, I've, I've made it a, a, a bit of a, um, uh, a art, so to say, yeah. you know, because uh, I, I even said something to my first art today, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna watch this. But so, so you know, first art, when I said, when I told you that because of 9/11, I changed my opinion on you, it was mainly because you made us walk nine and nine miles, eleven, uh, nine point eleven miles through the woods for no goddamn reason. <laughs> and to this day, I'm still holding a grudge. Okay, just so you know, I get it. It was 9/11. Got it. Can we just had sat down and watched TV like normal Americans? Like nine hours you and gotta 11 pay minutes. Respect. <laughs> you gotta pay respect, yeah. maggot. You gotta run yeah. so your goddamn heart busts. <laughs> you know you're what not, I'm a, saying? not a goddamn American if you, you don't. Know how many? You know how many branches <laughs> hit me in the goddamn neck? So you can't really play in the dark to 9-11. If you right don't here, slip and slide in the goddamn do mud, <laughs> you're not a real fucking American. <laughs> so you, what the fuck you Oh, it's my bad. <laughs> it's too soon? <laughs> fucking too soon. <laughs> no such thing. He said you soon. can't really play darts on 9-11. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh my god oh, remember that remember uh a year after 9 11 happened we had a buddy i don't want to say his name oh yeah uh that had a flight simulator and decided that it'd be a great idea to yeah, fly was, the plane into yeah. the world trade center for no goddamn yeah, he reason he was an asshole for that it was a video game yeah. and no one saw it. Yeah. it was like, you know, it's just a, with like, our own car. We, we, we all streaming. looked at him like, what the fuck? Man? Yeah, <laughs> you're, like, you're crazy. I laughed a little later, though. I did. I did because, you know, I know it's harmed. It's fun. You know, he's just. Oh, but it was just like, Jesus. I didn't laugh at what happened. I laughed at him being that much of an asshole and doing that in a simulation game. That's shit. Yeah. It's funny to me. Yeah. Like, like you know, he, you're, you're that much of a prick. Like, <laughs> he, he sat there and thought about it for yeah. quite a while because the minute we walked into his room, he, he was had like, the timing hey guys, right. you gotta he see had, this. He had the timing right. Like, yeah. he knew when we were coming see in. This. He was flying for a while. Yeah. Yeah, there's like, no way in hell he just got to in downtown Manhattan and shit. He was flying, he was flying <laughs> circles around the World Trade Center and waiting for us to yeah. walk in. Just so he could fly <laughs> circling for two hours. Where were you guys? <laughs> you guys made me wait. <laughs> Look, you only live four stops away. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> what took you guys so long? Yeah. <laughs> I had to reload my save. Yeah, man. Yeah, I avoided <laughs> I mean, I avoided a headache. Well, I was that was my freshman year, freshman year in high school, and I was going to school in Manhattan when that happened. And that day, I woke up and I just asked my mom. I was like, "Yo, I want to stay home today. Is that cool?" And she was like, "Yeah, stay home." And mind you, this is or this is probably like school was just first started. week, first week of <laughs> first school. Week. My mom let me stay home, so I stood home and I, I go to sleep. And I, not, like a few hours later, my father's waking me up, telling me about the freaking uh, you know nine eleven. That you know, I turned on news on, and there it was happening in real time. Shit, you know. But the, the the thing about it was that day, mom and pops were supposed to get on the train, the path train, to go to Jersey to meet up with with our aunt. Mm-hmm. 
And I don't know why the hell. I mean, I know they were waiting on me, and I had went to to Ladio's house. Um, but they could have left me, and they did. You know what I'm saying? So they were supposed to be on the PATH train that day underneath the World Trade Center. At least I'm assuming that's how they were going to get to New Jersey on the PATH train in New Jersey. Mm. I mean, underneath the World Trade Center. Uh, but that was a weird day, man. I remember that shit. That was fucking weird. Yeah. It was yeah. unusual. And so the sky was all orange. Like the, mm-hmm. yeah, I remember that. All the rust. You could, you, there. you could see it. You could see it from the top floor of the house. Like all the smoke and shit. It was, it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a Demi Downer. Um, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Way to end the show. Like Way to end the show, guys. <laughs> yeah. We started to, we were laughing at simulations, but then we talked about the real thing. And, <laughs> but yeah, I guess we, you know, so I guess we'll end that on a down note. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it, yeah, that was the bass flat note. Burn. Fuck you guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for, you know, fun, for your attention. Can I do time. a plug real quick? Can of I do course, of course. No, come on. Plug, hell no. No, God. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so for you guys watching F'd Up Radio, uh, I stream on Twitch. Uh, TK for some reason TK underscore underscore Kakashi all right on YouTube it says TK space Kakashi uh, please follow thumbs up if you like the videos uh, and just you know come by and chill on Twitch whenever we stream we usually stream Saturdays or Friday nights Saturday nights and uh, Wednesday nights so come by and uh, check us out oh, so, all right yeah, definitely will everybody make sure, sure you check them out we, make sure you check out TK we do Kakashi F-Tub gaming what? I said, what nights do we do after Up Gaming? After Up Gaming is on uh, YouTube every Monday. Every Monday on YouTube. All right. John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's good all plug. I got. Good, good plug. Good plug. <laughs> That's all I got. Every Monday, after Up Gaming on YouTube. Every Thursday, after Up Radio right here. Every Thursday. So, thank you all for coming. High fives. Anybody else got any plugs before we get the f- out of here? <laughs> no. No? Nobody? <laughs> I'm surprised yeah, yeah. at that. So, thank you all for coming. Yo, guys, thank you for coming on. Thank you, thank you, Monk. Thank you, uh, TK. Y'all have a good night. I'll be here. Yes. Hi, guys. Appreciate uh, y'all. Right. Thank you for having me. So, make sure yeah, you join us in f Up Gaming because we're going to be here in a moment.